Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to change your default system font on your Windows 10 computer. So this is going to be a pretty straightforward tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. So the first thing I'm going to tell you guys is I'm going to have a registry command I'm going to have in the description of the video. I want you to paste this into a notepad file. So just open up the star menu and type in notepad. So now if we go up to the Format tab up here and click on Font, you want to select whichever font you want to be your default font. So you want to make sure that you're spelling the name of it correct. So let's say System, let's say that's going to be our font type. I'm just going to copy it just to make sure we spelled it correct. I'm going to click Cancel to get out of that window. And now I'm going to delete this area that says desired font, I'm going to paste in the font name that we're going to change our system font to. And then I'm going to click on File up at the top. I'm going to click on Save As. And now I'm going to do in quotation marks. I'm going to do Change Default Font dot REG and quotation marks. So you have the two little dashes on both sides and then you're going to click on save. You can keep the save as type as text documents and I'm going to change the output to the desktop. And I'm going to click on save. Close out of the notepad file. Now for change default font, I'm going to just double click on it once to open it up. Let's say you want to allow the app to make changes to your device. Click on yes. Select yes for the registry editor. It says the keys and values contained have been successfully added to the registry. At this point you'd have to restart your computer for the changes to take effect. I should also point out I would recommend that you back up your registry before performing this as well as creating a system restore point in the event that you're unable to restore the registry back. It's pretty simple how to create a backup of the registry. CCleaner even offers a built-in utility that will allow you to do that. I'm just putting that out there because if you make a little error or if you want to go back to another font, um, it might be a little bit challenging unless you have a backup of the registry, which I would highly recommend you guys make before you proceed with this tutorial. But I do hope that this tutorial was able to help you guys achieve your objectives. And as always, thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.